BLS for Children and Infants also focuses on doing several tasks simultaneously. In many situations, more than one person is available to do CPR. This simultaneous and choreographed method includes performing chest compressions, managing the airway, delivering rescue breaths, and using the AED, all as a team. By coordinating efforts, a team of rescuers can save valuable seconds when time lost equals damage to the heart and brain. One Rescuer BLS and CPR for Children, age 1 to puberty. Be safe. Move the child out of traffic or any unsafe situation. Move the child out of water and dry the child. Drowning children should be removed from the water and dried off. They should also be removed from standing water, such as puddles, pools, gutters, etc. Be sure you do not become injured yourself. Assess the child. Shake the child and talk to them loudly. Also, tap their shoulder and shout their name. Check to see if the child is breathing while simultaneously checking their carotid pulse. Agonal breathing, which is occasional gasping and is ineffective, does not count as breathing. Keep in mind not to waste time trying to feel for a pulse. Feel for at least 5 seconds but no more than 10 seconds. If you're not sure you feel a pulse, begin CPR with a cycle of 15 chest compressions and 2 breaths. Call EMS. Send someone for help and to get an AED. If alone, shout for help while assessing for breathing and pulse. The ILCOR emphasizes that cell phones are available everywhere now and most have a built-in speakerphone. Call for help without leaving the child. If no one answers and you do not have a cell phone available, perform two minutes of CPR before taking a moment to find help. CPR Begin CPR with chest compressions and delivering breaths in a ratio of 15 to 2. Defibrillate Attach the AED when it becomes available. Use pediatric pads for children under the age of 8 and less than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. Listen to the AED and perform the steps as directed.